Hello, curious minds. Welcome to the channel. Today, let's dive into one of the most fascinating topics in the U.S. Naval Force, nuclear aircraft carriers. Find out why sinking them is nearly impossible and how a carrier strike group plays a vital role in protecting these incredible vessels. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share the video. All right, let's go. The U.S. aircraft carriers are categorized into classes, and the Nimitz and Ford classes are the backbone of the U.S. carrier fleet. These massive vessels are designed to transport and launch aircraft, serving as command and control platforms as well. With a length of about 330 meters and the capacity to carry up to 90 aircraft, including fighters and helicopters, their ability to project global air power is unparalleled. Few countries pose a real threat to these American warships, and unless they resort to nuclear weapons, they probably won't be able to sink them. But why is it so challenging to sink a U.S. aircraft carrier? Well, these Nimitz and Ford-class carriers are the largest warships ever built, boasting 25 decks and standing at 76 meters tall, displacing around 100,000 tons of water. With hundreds of watertight compartments and thousands of tons of armor, no conventional torpedo or mine can inflict serious damage on these giants. Moreover, aircraft carriers are constantly in motion, reaching speeds of up to 55 km per hour, enough to outpace submarines. Tracking them down is a complicated task. Within 30 minutes of being detected, the operational area of the aircraft carrier can expand to over 1,800 km, and after 19 minutes, it stretches to more than 15,000 km. Another factor making these formidable vessels nearly invincible is their active and passive defenses, always ready to defeat threats like low-altitude cruise missiles and hostile submarines. These defenses include a set of high-performance sensors, radar-guided missiles, and 20mm machine guns firing 50 rounds per second. Additionally, the aircraft carrier's air group, featuring over 60 aircraft, includes a squadron of early warning planes capable of detecting threats from great distances, including radar periscopes. There are also helicopters equipped for anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare. All these sensors and defensive weapons on the aircraft carrier are connected through an onboard command center for coordinated actions against adversaries. Last but not least, it's crucial to understand that these aircraft carriers don't operate in isolation. Typically, they are deployed as part of a carrier strike group, CSG. This is a highly specialized and powerful naval formation centered around a nuclear aircraft carrier. CSGs are meticulously prepared to project U.S. power worldwide while ensuring the carrier's protection and providing support in both offensive and defensive terms, covering a wide range of scenarios. The composition of a CSG includes not only the aircraft carrier but also various guided missile warships equipped with the Advanced Aegis Combat System, the world's most sophisticated air and missile defense system. These ships have the capability to neutralize all potential aerial threats. These attack groups are usually made up of a carefully selected combination of different naval and air assets, all highly coordinated to ensure operational effectiveness and CSG safety during their missions. Typically, they consist of cruisers responsible for long-range air defense, with analytical capabilities and cruise missile capability. Against torpedoes, highly maneuverable ships with a critical role in short- and medium-range air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and anti-surface warfare. Frigates and other escort ships provide additional protection against submarine and surface threats. Additionally, attack submarines are part of the CSG, operating discreetly near the formation, providing underwater detection capability in defense against enemy submarines, and capable of delivering land-attack cruise missile strikes. Maritime patrol aircraft, like the P-8 Poseidon, perform maritime patrol missions, search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare, and long-range reconnaissance, 
providing surveillance over the surrounding area and detecting underwater threats. Early warning aircraft, such as the E-2 Hawkeye, offer continuous aerial surveillance and early warning of airborne threats. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the incredible defense capability of these vessels. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.